Fitech. Which editing software do you use? Please let me know. I'm making this video because I got quite a few requests about how to make time lapses with DaVinci Resolve, so that's what we're doing today. I'm using the paid version, but you can do this on the free version as well. The main limitation here is that your export resolution will be maxed out at 4K pixels. What else do you need? You need Adobe DNG converter or digital negative converter, which is going to turn our sequence of raw images into a sequence of DNG images. The reason behind this is because DNG files are easier to read in DaVinci Resolve versus raw files. Another quick little side note, Lumix raw files for now don't work well in DaVinci Resolve, even if you convert them to DNG files. I've got a link down below where you can go and leave a comment, so hopefully the developers can help us out with that in the near future. Let's begin the tutorial. Select the folder with the photos that you want to transform. I have this sequence here, which is from my Canon. They are sequentially numbered, so I'm just gonna select that folder and open that up. DNG converter should load that in there. And then the next step is to set a save location. Now I've already done this process. I already have the DNG files here. As you can see, that is the same photo. It is just a DNG at the end instead of a CR2. Once that's loaded in, you want to select your save location, just create a new folder with the same name but with DNG at the end so it's all nice and clear. Hit convert and this can take a little while, a couple of minutes or maybe longer depending on your system. For reference, my uh, i9 Intel Mac sadly ran this in about five minutes for 200 photos. Once that is done, you want to open up DaVinci Resolve and this is the media view or the media workspace. You want to grab your folder with DNG files and simply drag that into the media pool. Voila, you've got yourself pretty much a time-lapse sequence already. Now there's a few things we need to do. First of all, right click this and create a new timeline using the selected clips. Don't use the project settings, go to the format and set your timeline resolution to the resolution of the photos that you're working with. That makes sense, right? So what is that resolution? You can see it up here, 6240 by 4160. That way you will generate a master file that has the correct aspect ratio and pixels. Now this is loaded in and it looks pretty bad. How do we color grade this? You're gonna select that clip in your timeline here and go to the color panel hit this button here to go to camera raw you're then going to decode that dng sequence using the clip settings and look what we have here you now have pretty much all the sliders that you have in lightroom on the basic color correction uh, panel so you can up your exposure a fair bit you can make it a little bit warmer we're going to add some more color there highlights are all fine use the histogram here on the right to color grade however extremely you want it. I'm gonna up those highlights quite a bit. I'm gonna add some contrast. Color boost is like vibrance. Saturation is saturation. That is too yellow. I'm not making a video about color grading today. As you can probably tell, I'm really going over this pretty quickly, but uh, let's see. That is a agreeable grade to work with. Now you have that set in your timeline and you could export that. You can jump to the export bit if you want, but I also want to show you if you want to ramp your settings, your exposure or your white balance, for example, if you have a day to night, you're going to, with Alt selected, duplicate that clip on top of itself. And then with that top clip selected, you're going to go back to the color panel and you're then going to change, for example, your color temperature, way cooler, and drop your exposure a bit. You can also add extra color grades here, of course. Now, the reason we're doing this is because now you can crossfade the start clip into the end clip so that the colors change over time. Boom, with that handle, we have now started with this brighter and warmer clip, and we are now sliding across into the next clip where the exposure gets a bit darker, the highlights pop a bit more, and generally everything's much cooler. Color grading is an entire industry in itself. I'll probably make a video about that soon, but let's jump to the delivery tab here, this little rocket thing. You want to go to the ProRes export, and then just take over the settings that you see on screen here. You can work with different codecs as well. MP4 is more heavily compressed. 
it is harder to edit, it is not a format you want to use to send to someone else to further color grade, uh, but it is a good format if you want to upload it to YouTube, for example. You could go with a H.265, commonly known as HEVC, or high efficiency video codec as well. Depending on your system, this will take quite a while to export, but I'm just going to show you how quickly that goes. From beginning to end, we're probably at a couple of minutes here, and we are about to be finished with transforming this raw sequence into a DNG sequence into a color graded video file from DaVinci Resolve. You can do this over a bunch of timelines and then add them all to the render queue and then hit render overnight if you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. What questions do you have? A lot of you requested DaVinci Resolve videos on a previous post I did in the community tab, so that's what you're getting now. One, two, three. Bing, we're done. Let's go in Finder and play that video. I didn't set a title. Big mistake. But hey, look at that. Day to night, white balance wise. Not an actual day to night. It was uh, already a bit sunsetty. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in. Any questions you got, drop them down below. Any future requests, video requests, whatever. Drop it down below. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.